Welcome back. Awesome Mayor Steve Adler joining us this midday for his weekly visit Mondays with the mayor. We thank you for being with us this morning. Always good to be here. Thank you. So Mr. Bloomberg was in Austin and made a pretty big announcement about the city and climate change. Talk to us about that. You know, it was it was a great announcement. The, the, the city competed with 100 other cities and was one of a group of cities that got up to two and a half million dollar donation from uh, the Bloomberg Foundation. It's the American Cities Climate Challenge. Uh, and it's to help us do a better job of, of climate mitigation, uh, but it's coming to leading cities. So it was really a, a great uh, honor uh, for us. And, and quite frankly, we'll, we'll take the resources to do an even better job. <laughs> yeah, what type of projects do you see um, using this, this money for? Well, I think that we're gonna focus on things to, to, to help make commuting more sustainable, uh, to try to get uh, more people out of uh, single people driving in, in cars mm -hmm. during the during the peak hours. Uh, it's to help get us more electric vehicles on the road. It's to come up with new parking uh, systems downtown so that people aren't driving around and circling looking for a parking space uh, downtown. It's working with buildings uh, to make them more energy efficient. Uh, you know, we, we, we will get to a place in 2020 where the city operations have a zero carbon footprint and citywide, our goal is to get there by 2050. We have a little bit of work to do. Okay, well, you mentioned 2020, and so I know you had a question for Mr. Bloomberg as we look forward to 2020 in the year of politics. Well, you know, he was in town, and I had the opportunity to join him for a little coffee in the morning, and, and like everybody else, I think I asked him if he was running for, running for president. <laughs> uh, and, and, and while he didn't answer the question directly, it's pretty clear that it's something to me. It's pretty clear it's something he'd like to do. Wow. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if he was one of those 20 some odd names that moving we'll forward see. in wow. the Democratic Party. Very interesting. You know, the other thing we want to talk about is big announcement set to uh, happen, I believe, tomorrow with you about uh, the future of Austin FC. What can you tell us? Well, <laughs> that there's going to be a really big announcement tomorrow. Oh, no, you're not giving um, us anything. Well, huh? I think that, that, that everything seems to be pointing in the right direction. Uh, it would just be wonderful if we had uh, a major league team in our city. Uh, with the council action and with what we're watching with the Major League Soccer, uh, I think people could, could certainly look that we're on a glide path to, to get there. And, and you know, there was uh, something I saw on social media today. Uh, two people ran into each other on the street, really couldn't communicate well because they spoke two different languages, but mm -hmm. they were both wearing a, an Austin FC soccer, soccer shirt uh, and thought they'd take a picture uh, of them together. And I think that does have the potential to help bring this city together in ways that we don't gather together as a city now. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, we, that we're moving forward on that. And what do you make of that citizen petition about having a, you know, a decision like this where city land is used for a major project go to voters before it is decided? Well, you know, it's not the, the, the city is not in the business of selling its land uh, to make the most money for it, which is why we put the Long Center for the Performing Arts on city land mm -hmm. and the new library downtown is on city land. And we're gonna put a lot of our land to, to affordable housing now that we have that $250 million bond, I think that putting a land where we can have a venue like this uh, with uh, to, to have a major league sport is a good use of, of city property, but recognize that we're not spending any money to finance mm -hmm. the stadium. We're not giving any money to the team. Uh, and, and that is, we're the only city in the country that has been able to strike that kind of, uh, kind of a deal. We gave them no uh, uh, tax exemption uh, that was issued by the city, whether they pay taxes or not, is between them and the state. Uh, and whether they pay taxes or not, our deal continues to, to move forward. So from an economic standpoint, with what they're going to contribute, they're, we're letting them use the land, they're building a stadium on their own nickel, and then they're giving the stadium to the city mm -hmm. and then they lease it back. Uh, plus, they're spending millions of dollars on transit improvements and, and soccer programs for, for kids in the, in the area. So it's a, it's a phenomenal financial deal for the city. All right. Well, Mayor, we thank you for joining us this Monday. Thank you. And we'll be right back.